Hey there viewers and welcome back to part two of the non Hemi Dodge Ram. Ram Magnum. Doesn't sound as good as Hemi, but we've got the oh, I guess I'll take that off. We've got the ignition switch from Napper, not a sponsor, it's your classic KS 6203. Classic, made in Tijuana. We'll get it ripped open here, make sure it looks right. Boy, it's fancy. So here it is, there's what it looks like. Got a connector there, and of course the big jumbo connector on the bottom, so must be steering column locks and stuff there. And it looks like we've got to switch our lock cylinder over into it. However, that comes out, it's to be determined. However, first thing first, we have to tear stuff apart. Now I've got you sitting over there because I'm hot, I'm sweaty, because it's like nine million degrees today. We're gonna take out the tilt lever over here on this side. For that, you're gonna need a big old Chris or an American one, or metric, either one. It has a flat spot on it. I have no idea what size wrench it is, small. We're gonna see if we can't get a hold of it and unthread it. Look at that, just like so. So I'll show you here in a minute, bear with me. You can see the twisting action I'm using. So there's that, there's the rod. And like I say, it's got a little flat spot. I find using the big crescent wrench, I think it's a 100 millimeter one, or <laughs> a solid four inches. So there's that, and we'll take that top piece off. Of course, we already had the bottom off. And then it looks like we've got some tamper-proof torques. <laughs> that tells me they don't want us messing with it. But the good news is you can buy tamper-proof torques. I've got a little set right here. And we're going to start with the T25. T25. Try again, fella. So it should be a T20, like I say. All right, first try. Get us a bit driver here. We could look on service data, but we'll take a few guesses first. It's in park, keys off, obviously. That's the type of information you would find in service data. It would say, like, make sure you never remove this in park. And then we're scrambling to figure out how in the thunder we're going to fix whatever we frigged up. Yeah, at least three anyways. Gotta be more than that. It'd make this thing kind of easy to steal, wouldn't it? No security. Thought they had a black tie down as hard as they came out, but oh, you know what? They feel uh, kind of triangular shaped. I run it through the, my fingers here, so that tells me they're probably a self-threading screw at some point for assembly. Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of monkey business in there. I don't know what it all is, but we'll just leave her lie. Let's uh, see if we can't unplug it. Got one plug around the side here. Probably for the illuminated keyhole would be my guess, because all the rest of these are just ignition wires. We're going to see if we can get these off without breaking the clips, which are wicked brittle. And for that, we're going to need a razor sharp knife. So if we slip, we bleed. Get right underneath that tab. There's that half. Brand new blade, too, so you know she's going to cut you deep, boy. I remember that story okay so there's that that is in the off position now let's look at this one Ooh, discrepancy must be it has a gear mechanism in here it does so 
So there, that's the off position. You see what I'm saying? See how, see how you have to time it? It's just in time. Set your timing. So I assume we got to put it in the same way we took it out. This one's got a lot of schmoo on the back of it. Now our lock cylinder must come out one way or another. One way or another. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. Where's my keys? There they are. Got a button in there. Nope, can't push it there. Can we push it in accessory? Maybe. Nope. Can we push it in... Uh, ooh, there we go. Hold the button down on the side with your knife. Of course, you don't cut me. Don't you cut me. So we have it in the run position. So now we're going to turn it like this. And then we're going to turn this one like that. That way we can slip it back together. Easy peasy. Out that comes. There's your lock cylinder. That's the tab, the button I was pushing on. Of course, I think it rotated now. Whatever, dude. We'll set that one down. And then we're going to have to rotate this to run position again. Accessory, off, on, run. Okay, so our button is flickable. Make sure your button's flickable. And then you'll look in here and you're going to see the little, see that little round donger inside the hole? You want to stick your round donger so the tip of it hits that one, is my guess. And so, more importantly, that our little push tab ends up in the empty slot. That's where it needs to poke out. And you go click. And we'll turn it off so you can see when we turn it on now we got some kind of magic. It's like an old-fashioned key. It's like, do you have the key to the old ship? And we'll stick it up here, and everything should line back up in the hole. I'm hoping. It's my prayer. First we're gonna plug it all in. Check. Illuminated keyhole. Check. I'm thinking in theory. Of course my theory's been wrong before. I should go get a light so I can see what kind of concoction we're trying to stick it in in there. Because it feels like our bottom one where that steering column lock or whatever it is is not happy with me at this moment. Hey Jay, could you hand me a light please? Oh, thank you. I was wondering if we could just turn the key and make it slip in. No, it's just got a hole it's got to go in. It's got to get it in the hole, fella. Try this again. Oh, <laughs> all you have to do is take a look and then boom. Oh, 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 oh. We'll get some light now that the show's almost over. Let's dim this down. So this is the new Astro light. Cordless charging. Push and hold the button to dim. That's all the way bright. Oh yeah. Get out of the Marvin Gaye, baby. Marvin Gaye, Marvin Gray. Who is it? Let's get it down. Isn't that what he sings? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You know that song? It's my theme song. Not really, because I don't even say Marvin. Marvin. Whew. All I know is we need to take this thing for a two. Get that AC cranking. It's wicked hot out today, man. It's brutal. It's like 87 degrees in here. No wind. You got the old fan out there running. You can hear it clicking away. We hit bottom yet? I better make sure I ain't tweaking nothing down there.
That one's good. Let me look at this bottom one, make sure we're right up there flush. Can't see anything. Let me look from the top down. Here's so. Oh, just needed another half a turn, then she got tight. Okay. I was getting scared for a moment. Not scared like like there was someone chasing me, not that kind of just like worried, I guess would be a better word. More worried. It takes a lot to scare me. Not really. Okay, in theory. Steering wheel lock works. Uh, I think these lock upside down, don't they? Wait for these lights to go out. The hell lights are out. Yeah. Steering wheel lock works. Can't put it in gear. Turn on the steering wheel locks. And we got our shift done. Oh, she fired right up now. Oh, yeah. See that baby torque? Ah, no. Five nine Magnum. 60 thunder. There's that, and then we'll screw this little guy back in. And then put the column cover back on the bottom. Now this one here is a little tricky. You gotta go in deep before you find it. Let's see. Yes sir, see anyway, I'm gonna have to look. You feel the tip of it start in there. Let's drive her home. We'll get out the big four incher again. The big four incher. That's what I call it. There. Pretty much done. We want to take a little trip around town. Then we got to put our screws. Ooh, mother lover. You almost lost that screw, boy. Oh, you did. You just dropped it. So I'm going to spend 20 minutes finding the other screws I just dropped. And then essentially. Column cover. I don't know, did you guys see us pick this off in part one of the video? Was there a part one? I don't remember. That's got some clips on it. You click it on that side. You click it on that side. One machine screw in the middle, and there's two plastic screws on the end. So don't screw it up. Alright, folks. That's that. I ain't gonna quite shut it off just yet because it's actually quite comfortable. I like it. I like it a lot. 135,860 on this pig, in case anybody's wondering. Um, hopefully you've watched part one, otherwise part two makes no sense to you at all. I did go through and check the AC system for leaks. Uh, I did that yesterday, uh, just to make sure there was no leaks in any of the fittings. Of course, we changed that high side Schrader. I'm gonna turn this down. Um, we changed that, so we have no idea to know, you know, was that a leak? Chances are it was the way it was kind of rigged up and smushed on there and no cap. and and all of that stuff. Um, and I'm gonna keep moving on. The ignition switch is a piece of cake. Uh, I spent more time trying to find the screw I dropped down under the seat, which was odd because I found this. I left this on the floor. I found somebody else's screw. When I was looking for mine, I found this one. Probably the one that goes in the uh, actuator would be my guess because somebody else had put a screw in there that obviously doesn't belong. Uh, I don't know what life lesson to give you now because I'm not a life coach. So don't be a jerk. How's that sound? And uh, don't be a jerk by going on down to that comment box, leaving your questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, while you're down there, subscribe or ring the bell. You know what to do. Find us on our socials, Insta, Facebook. That's it. We don't tweet yet, but soon we're going to be doing that. Maybe. I don't even know what Twitter is. Twitter. Don't even know how to say it. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.